them because I'm also a bit worried it might be considered racist because uh, I'd probably overdo it. And we're going into this area wherever it is. Ah, uh, how peaceful. I have a feeling this is going to be a good recording. <gasps> Valka Castle! Yay! We found it! We found it! La la la! In your face, GG! We survived attacked by a giant shark. Look at this place. It just has to be Valka Castle. Grandpa, we found it. Can you hear me? I can, but not so clearly. The reception is poor. It seems you have found what you were looking for. That actually rhymed, so I'm a bit worried this is going into a song. Dad must have been searching for this castle too. So he could be trying to tell us to find that treasure. The one that Gigi was talking about. Anyway, let's look inside the castle and see what we can find out. Can do, Missy. Just a moment. This is your first confined space dive with an overhead environment. That is a very old structure, so proceed with the utmost caution. We have the underwater pen, yes? Use it to leave a marker in a place that's easy to remember. That way, if you get lost, you should be able to find your way back to that point safely. However, it's primarily a means of underwater communication. Well, anyway, let's test it by leaving a marker here. I'll leave this design to you, so long as you make something cool. Or was it her speaking there? I don't fucking know. Okay, underwater pen time. Uh, let's draw... Um... Samurai Squirrelfish! That's the worst fish I've ever seen. Shut up, Joe, no one asked you. So, that'll be it. <laughs> that'll be our fish. That's pretty avant-garde. Never mind, it'll do. Oh look, the fish are coming up to the mark. This is called positive phototaxism. Some fish are attracted to light, like the fluorescent ink from the underwater pen. The precise workings of the mechanism are not yet understood, but you could find it useful to try out different things with the pen. Awesomeness. Um, see if that's what the last thing of over here is for. Oh no, he doesn't even have one for this guy, so... Sod you! You guys are boring. I'm gonna go find my new friends. Yeah. In your face. Woohoo! That's the wrong way, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> yeah, da, 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 da. Out of the way, Ocean. We've got searching to do. <sighs> Still really love this game. I like it that I'm not running out of air. But what does that mean, Ocean? Happening to Ocean? What does that mean is happening to Ocean? Maybe she has unlimited air because she's an NPC. Lucky. So, let's look in here, I think. Whoa. Hello, Longtooth Grouper. How are you doing there, buddy? Sorry, I'm done. Sunset Antheus. That's quite nice, actually. So, let us play Endless Ocean 2, is what we're doing right now. Just thought I'd tell you. In case you'd forgotten what you were watching, watching and thought maybe it was like some kind of, you know, comedy show, or maybe some kind of drama about police. Small book. Alright, yeah. It could contain valuable information, though I doubt it would actually contain anything useful now that it's been underwater. That's meaning the pages would be actually, you know, like, basically destroyed. Um, and if the pages were fine, then the ink would definitely have basically died. If ink can die, can it die? I doubt it. Branched sea slug, and it's still glowing. Man, those sea slugs are cool. I could invite them to my party, alright. Where are you? Red Gernard. <laughs> That's a strange name if ever I've seen one. Excuse me. Whoop. What be in this place? Stop! There are lunar lionfish in here. Their long dorsal and pectoral fins are really dangerous and venomous too. It'll be incredibly painful if you're stung by one of them. They won't actively attack you, but they are dangerous, so it's best to keep away from them. Alrighty. So, let's look at this thing. It's just more... Demo Gold Tail Demoiselle, that's the one. I almost said Stark's Demoiselle, but that would be wrong, because I don't know what the difference is entirely, but I know there is one. Lionfish, danger! To the rescue today! But it's not to the rescue, otherwise it wouldn't be danger now, would it? Unless it was danger to the bad guys. What is this? Door is locked from the other side. You cannot open it from here. That's a poopy shame. <laughs> As opposed to a regular shame or a bit of poop. It's a poopy shame. Wow, this place is huge. Just look at it, man. 
Man, you can get lost in here for years and still not know the way out. <laughs> I don't know. Can we open this door here? Nope, evidently not. There's a hole in the door that someone small could get through. Oh, say Anne. Let's go, come on. Nope, evidently not. Let's see if she can, actually. We'll probably have to talk to her. Oh, say Anne. Why does your hair seem... Well, oh, no, wait, no, that's just your tank. I might be able to get through that hole in the door. Go for it. Good luck, Oseanne. I hope you don't get eaten by a giant shark. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, I'm opening the door. Ah, crafty. Yay, we made it through. Okay, now I'm facing the wrong way, so... We shall swim. Wow. Them some big fish. Ah, shade fish. I have already seen you. Stop lying. No, I don't want to look at the fish. I want to look at that shiny thing. Ah, I can barely control him. Servant's ring. Crazy. So, that being the sh sort of thing we're going through here. Oh, found it, I think. Unless this is something completely unrelated. It's a painting. Ah, Curses. Foiled again. I wonder if you can actually throw things out of your bag, because... Might be an idea to. Ah, sorry. We might as well get like five small treasures than one big one, you know? Um, just because I feel that sort of thing that might occur. Should we dance? We should not, because it's impossible to do so underwater. And if not impossible, at least hard. Hmm. I wonder if it would be... No. I'll come back... I'll come back at another time and try it with an empty bag and or a bigger bag. Because we don't actually have any guarantees that it would fit into our bag when it was empty, anyways. Yellowtail Chorus. Young. It's bright red! It's strange how things change in time. Sunrise, sunset. I don't actually know the tune. I was kind of doing it based on Homer Simpson's his, 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 his rendition. But, you know... That's what you gotta do sometimes when you're tired and hungry. But I'm neither, so it's okay. Um. Not sure what's going on here. Ah! Stop with your crazy flipping around, Partario. It's confusing and it doesn't help. Ah! You're not aiding this mission, good sir. I should have you hung, drawn, and, um, painted. I don't know. So. Woo. Let's see what's in here then. Huh? Oh, I'm suspicious of the world today. I'm suspicious. Underwater gallery. Nice. However, there's no painting in here, I don't think. We only found one painting, and I don't know how paintings would survive in underwater, you know, because it's on an easel, which I'm guessing would be basically damaged a bit by water, or at least a lot of water. And paint, which would run with water, so... Ooh! Hello! That's a shiny thing. Move, Stinger! Nice! He stings move things. But maybe not. <laughs> that was possibly the strangest laugh I've ever done in my life. I apologize profusely for it. Why does Partario keep flipping us around? Whoa. Help! Controls are craziness. I'm actually quite terrified for no reason. I'm not looking at any fish just because I have a feeling I've seen all of these fish before anyways. Um, and if not, then we can just come back and find them, so. Whoa! These are the biggest small fish I've ever seen. Cardinal fish. Hello. <gasps> oh my god, he's gonna ram us! Phew. That was a close one. He almost rammed right into us. Coinage, coinage, underneath these fish. Venus coin. Yummer. What are you two? Harlequin Sweet Lips, I remember you. You have a funny name as well. This is me. Whoa. There's something over there, which I saw, but I'm going to look at these things first. Move Stinger, and Clown Trick Fish Young. Right. That's not exactly what we need. Oh, it's just a long tooth group around head first. Or head ways on, or whatever you wanna, however you wanna pronounce it. What are you? 
You're new, I know that. White grouper. Stupid line surgeon fish getting all up in my grill. What are you? Red gurnard. Nah. A gurnard. That's a funny word, because it sounds like Bernard. I've never known a Bernard. Then again, I guess it's not a very common name. Least of all nowadays. Hmm. Anyone of anyone who watches these videos called Bernard? Hello? Oh right, you can't answer me because you know I haven't even put this up on YouTube yet. In fact, I haven't even stopped recording it yet. So how how could you answer me? That's just ridiculous. <laughs>